Hey guys, I Notorious here. I'm gonna be doing a video on the rarest steam groups that you can get in for items for CSGO. Not like a night like not just like you made a group and then only invite your friends and have it set to private. But like groups for actual steam items that you have to own to get into, and it's like invite only groups. And I actually surprisingly, I'm surprised no one actually did a video like this before. So I thought I'd just take it on myself to go ahead and do one real quick. Okay, so starting off number five, we have the Float Kings group. For those that don't know, items have a specific float for wear value that you can see, like the lower the value, the less scratches there'll be on the gun, and the higher the value, the more scraped up it'll look. You can go to a website called csgo.exchange, when you sign in, it'll load your entire inventory on there, and it'll find all the float values for your guns automatically and compare it to other users. So then you can search their database for all the numbers and compare it to your own. So to get into this group, you have to either have the highest float, like it's really beat up, or the lowest float where it's like clean and flawless and there's no scratches on it, for some of the guns at least. And the reason why I only have this, I mean it's still a rare group to get into, but the only reason why I have this at number 5 compared to some of the other groups is because you could possibly, like, oh, I want to say there's at least a thousand guns in the game. I'll put the exact number up in the video. But if you take that number and multiply it by two, there's probably at least 2,000 possible people that can get into this group. And that being said, it's actually not that hard to get into. I mean, you could, some of these things aren't even that expensive. You could probably buy for like 10 keys at lowest float just for some random gun. Get out of here. This, this is my video. Get out of here. I'm taking over now. But the reason why I have it at number five is because. These guns, you could buy some of these guns for probably like 10 keys on exchange or something. You could probably buy some of these for like 10 keys and number one float or the lowest float for some like random skin that no one usually uses. I don't want to say it randomly uses, but just some random skin. It's not like you're using like the number one float op dragon lore or something like that. It's just any skin you can get in here. So it only costs probably like 10 keys to get in this group if you really wanted to. Okay, for number four, we have the blue gems group. The reason why I have this at number 4 is because they're much rare. I mean, I know Trox just did a trade-up contract and got a blue gem 5-7. And Anomaly just the other day got a stat track minimal wear, like, scar pattern, ace hard and AK. That thing was insane. That's probably worth more than some fire serpents, to be honest, like a stat track factory new fire serpent. But the reason why I have this here is because this one doesn't include those guns. It's only for knives, so it makes it that much more rare to get into. See, you'd think you need a really expensive case harden to get in here, but that's the reason why I have this at number four. You can get a pretty cheap case harden, like this is just the first one I found on Reddit. And it was like, buy it right now is 90 keys, but I don't think he's gonna get 90 for this, to be honest. I mean, you can just get some random, like, falcon knife, something ugly, battle scarred blue gem, and get in the group for probably. Probably less than 100 keys, maybe 50 if you're lucky, if you get like a really bad looking blue gem, if it's battle scarred, like gut knife or something silly, like the falcon knife I was showing. So that's the only reason why I have this group at number 4, because it's still rare to get into, but compared to the last group where you need to spend something like 10 keys, this one would probably be closer to 100 keys. Okay, and for number 3, we have the Dragon Lore Owner Club. So this one is a bit of a step up from the last one. The cheapest dragon lore you can get to get in this group is like probably at least 200 keys to be honest. I'm not an ex I'm not an expert on dragon lore prices, so I'll probably throw up the exact price in the video. But that being said, it's like well over double the price from the last group to get in. Just to get the cheapest one just to get invited for this. I'm pretty sure I was reading over this one earlier. It says that they actually check the inventories of everyone like every month or so or something like that to make sure that they still have a dragon lore. So let me just check, like, some random guy here, if he's got dragon lore. Uh, yep, yep, still got his dragon lore. Oh, wow. And howls, okay. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty big inventory guys are in this group. I mean, I have several friends that are in this with huge inventories that are... So it's, it's still a pretty rare group to get into, but like they even said right here, it doesn't matter the exterior, like any dragon lore you can get invited to, like battle scar to factory news. Okay, so yeah, looking on OP skins, the cheapest one right now is still $455 for a battle scar dragon lore with like a terrible float. I mean, you can see these things are all ugly. And that's about like 182 keys. And but that's with the PayPal discount. So normally on Reddit, you'd probably be around 200. So yeah, the price on this is pretty accurate. 
So you'd need to spend at least, like, if you wanted to get into this group today, you'd have to spend at least $450 to get invited into it. So this is a pretty big step up from the last one. Okay, so for number two, we have the CSGO Elite Knife Club. And the reason why I have this one at number two is because this is only, this isn't just for knives. This is for knives over a thousand dollars. Like, I mean, I have a flip sapphire, but even that isn't even close to this. Like, I'd still have to get, I'd have to trade like my whole inventory probably to get a decent knife that can get into this. But yeah, you'd have to have good amount of knives, at least one thousand dollar knife, I think it is, or several that add up to a thousand. So that's the reason why I have this one at number two, because it's, you have to have at least a thousand dollar knife to get into this, or several knives worth a thousand, so. Not everyone you know is going to be in this. It'd actually be pretty rare to see someone in this. I mean, I'll have six friends in this group, but I still know a lot of high tier traders. And of course, Ruffles in here. <laughs> but this one is only number two for a reason. You'll see why. For number one, I don't want to sound like I'm promoting my own group, but I think that the Olaf Pass Scout group is still the rarest group to get into. For those that don't know, the Olaf Pass Scout is a souvenir that dropped during the DreamHack Winter game between LDLC and Fnatic on Overpass. That's the one where all of my stores boosted up and everyone makes jokes about him and that. There's all those videos and songs about him. But this is the scout that dropped during that game. And the packages alone for these things from that game are ridiculously expensive. So I really don't think it would be possible to open it. It's still possible technically to unbox one of these things, but it'd still be very expensive. But the reason why I chose this one over the Knife Elite Club is because there is only 24 of them in existence. There's only 23 on exchange because Mr. Dumbass here decided to scrape all the stickers off his. Don't know why he did that. He claims he was bored or something, but... There's only 24 of these out there, and the cheapest field-tested one I saw sell on Reddit a couple months ago was still 250 keys, I think. So that's like at least $600 alone. So it costs at least $600 to get one of these scouts to get in the group. While this does cost a thousand dollars, so you'd think this one would be more rare. That being said, there's already almost 600 people in this group, and there's probably much more knives out there in the game alone that have a value of over a thousand dollars, while there's only 24 of these in existence. So it might be cheaper, and it might seem cheaper up front for the only $600 price, but I still think it's more rare to be in this, to be in this one because of the price for how many guns there are. I mean, if someone were to make a group tomorrow for, like, factory new souvenir P250 nuclear threats or something like that, and someone unboxes it and he just makes his own group and he's the only guy in there, well, congrats, he's got the rarest Steam group on Steam now, but... I mean, this, for currently, I still think this is probably one of the rarest groups. If you guys have any other suggestions for better groups I'd make it, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. I would mean, I'm open for discussion. So go ahead and leave a comment of what you think about my rankings from 1 to 5. And if you can think of any rare groups that could be out there, go ahead and leave a comment on what you think would probably be rare than some of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I normally don't do inventory videos for this. I normally leave that to Mr. Interrupt My Videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you all have a great day.